all right here it is ladies and gentlemen the gigabyte x870 e aorus master let's take this motherboard out and have a closer look first we have got the documentation pretty standard stuff there is also a small fan included specifically designed for DRAM cooling with the arrival of new QD modules that run hotter, this fan ensures extra airflow for optimal performance. Next we have a couple of thermal props. This can be connected to your system, allowing you to monitor internal temperatures and adjust fan curves dynamically based on sound and temperature. In the box you will also find a set of SATA cables for your 3.5 inch SSDs or spinning drives. Velcro straps for tidy cable management and a PWM extension cable for DRAM cooling fan. Gigabyte also includes their handy G connector, which bundles all your front panel connectors into one block, making installation a breeze. Finally, there is a Wi Fi antenna for the integrated Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3. So, now let me tell you what makes this motherboard truly unique the X3D Turbo mode. This exclusive feature is designed to boost gaming performance with just one click. It's compatible with all AM5 X3D CPUs and even if you have a non-X3D Ryzen 9000 series CPU, you can still activate this mod for a performance boost, provided you are using an AM5 motherboard that supports X3D Turbo mod. To enable the X3D Turbo mod, simply start your PC and press the delete key during boot to enter the BIOS. Once inside, look at the top right corner of the screen, find the X3D Turbo mode option and click to enable it. Then save your changes by pressing F10, your PC will restart and you are ready for gaming. Just a quick tip, if you use your PC for tasks like video editing or rendering, it's better to turn off this mode in the BIOS. This ensures your CPU performs optimally for productivity workloads. So now let me share my results. Before turning on the X3D Turbo mode, I played a couple of rounds with my RTX 4070 Super and AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D on max settings. I was getting a solid 100 to 140 FPS. But after enabling the X3D Turbo mode, I hit nearly 180 FPS. While it's not consistently stable at 180, I saw a consistent boost of 20 to 30 FPS, which of course makes a big difference for smoother gameplay. And now let's dive into the motherboard itself. On the bottom edge of the board you will find a front panel audio header, a 3-pin 5V addressable RGB header, a 4-pin 12V RGB header, a PWM fan header, two USB 2.0 headers for peripherals like liquid coolers and RGB controllers and USB 3.2 Type-A header. There are also two additional PWM fan headers and a front panel header for lights and system switches. Moving to the right hand edge we have right angled PWM fan headers which are really great for cable management, a right angled USB 3.2 Type-A header, four SATA ports, a USB-C header, an internal HDMI port and a 24-pin power connector for x 870 e Aorus Master. There is also a debug LED screen to diagnose your system alongside a power button and a debug LED arrayed directly on the board's surface. At the top you will see two 3-pin 5V RGB headers, two PWM fan headers and two 8-pin EPS power connectors for your CPU. For PCIe slots, the configuration includes one PCIe Gen 5x16 slot at the top, one PCIe Gen 4x4 slot in the middle, and one PCIe Gen 3x4 slot at the bottom. The VRM layout is really robust, featuring a 16 plus 2 plus 2 phase digital twin setup with 110 amp power stages. The I.O. cover houses a massive heatsink that cools the first 16 phases, while an additional heatsink on the top connected by a heat pipe handles the rest. The socket is a typical AM5 LGA1718 with cooler mounting compatibility for both AM4 and AM5 designs. For memory, the board supports up to 256 of DDR5 RAM at 8600 mega transfers across 4 slots. Storage gets exciting with quick release M.2 heatsinks and covers. 
The board includes 3 PCIe Gen 5X 4M.2 slots with easy latch mechanism and 1 PCIe Gen 4X 4M.2 slot under the top PCIe slot. The rear I.O. offers a Q-Flash button, a clear CMOS button, two USB 2.0 ports, several USB 3.2 Type-A ports, two USB 4.0 Type-C ports, 5 gigabit Ethernet with a real thick adapter, there is a line-out jack, there is a microphone jack, an SPDIF output, integrated Qualcomm Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3 and a unique Wi-Fi antenna connector. That wraps up our first look and overview of the Gigabyte X870e Aorus Master. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.